Hi, Tony from Songwriters Chop Shop here. In this video, I want to go over an easy way to generate lyric ideas using Google. We're all stuck inside these days for some reason and have extra time to be creative, but the circumstances aren't exactly conducive to creativity. This idea is based on keyword research methods that content creators and marketers use all the time, but I think we can easily use it to brainstorm and generate lyric ideas. So you can do any of these steps in any order at any stage of the lyric writing process. I'm going to start from scratch and see if I can come up with anything. So let's say we have a broad topic to start with. Let's use breakups, that's a pretty common one. So head over to Wikipedia and type it in. And here we have a whole page where we can start picking ideas, words and phrases that pique our interest. So look for words that conjure up some kind of imagery and even if you see words that you like the idea of but are too flat or overused or even too scientific. Like here we have the word separation. Just head on over to thesaurus.com and type in the word and get some synonyms. And look for anything that could be used. Then just copy and paste it into a Google Doc. So this is something I use to keep a song idea focused. You don't have to use this, but there will be a lot of possible song ideas so it can streamline the process, but feel free to jump down any rabbit hole and explore anything you want. So there's the song's theme, the emotional point of view, like how do you feel about the theme, and the vehicle. The vehicle is something that drives the whole idea. So we have a theme picked. We'll just see if there's any other words of interest here. And you can also click on any of these words and see if there's anything interesting in there. So the idea is just to let this stuff suggest ideas to us until we get something that sparks off our imagination or our creativity. So apart from all these words related to a broad topic, we want to focus into a specific aspect of that topic. So if we look at the content section here, we can see all these subtopics that will help us do that. Each one of these could be a potential song idea, and if you scroll down there's more information. You know, stages leading up to a breakup, or going through a breakup, there's plenty of potential stuff here. Tidying up memories, that's a kind of good one conjures up some kind of Im imagery. Stonewalling, it's a good phrase. And we can go back up to the table of contents and see if there's anything else. There we have the negative effects and the positive effects. So that could be interesting as the emotional journey of the song. Stress related growth is a pretty interesting idea with that emotional journey. So let's use stress related growth as the vehicle and the emotional journey from positive to negative. We can refine these ideas later on as we go. Okay, so the next stage is great for getting ideas that we know will be relatable to a wide audience. This stuff comes straight from Google. So you don't need to guess if people are interested in this kind of stuff. Google is literally telling you that lots of people are interested in it. You've got the people also ask section and the searches related to. So like here, getting over a breakup seems to be the most relatable. And we can click on any of these and have a look. So take your time, pick out anything that interests you. Again, we're just brainstorming general ideas here. Let's stick this into ideas. Even these kinds of cliches can be reworked into something. And something else we can do, just head on over to Amazon and look for some title ideas. So titles can't be copyrighted, so we can either just get ideas or use them straight off the shelf. We can even click on them and get some ideas from the blurbs. Sometimes the one you love is the one who hurt you the most. You couldn't make that stuff up. We can have a look at different genres. Tell me lies, let's take that. Okay, so the next thing for relatable lyric ideas is to have a look at some forms. Just put the topic in quotes and plus form in quotes. Oh, and don't forget Google auto suggest function as well. Okay, so here we have a bunch of forms. Go in and look for threads that have a lot of interaction. Remember though, these are real people on here, so out of respect, I'm not going to show you this, but I'll have a look through a couple of these and see if I get any ideas. Okay, so what I picked out of forms here is highlighted in green. So I want to keep this video short, but in real time all of this is taking about 30 minutes. 
I forgot to say earlier, but you can also put some pictures in here for some visual stimulation. Just go up and click insert, go to image, search the web. This little box will come up here. Put your keyword in. Got a few options here. And again, just scroll down, have a look, see if that piques your interest. Let's pick this one, Game Over. Could be a good title. And just click Insert. And as if by magic. Just resize it so it doesn't take up the whole page. Okay, so there's a few things here that are kind of usable. Got haunted by ghosts. Sleepless on a bed of roses. I kind of like this idea of strong. That's the emotional point of view. Just gonna put it in there. And also, this jump. I think I'm going to try that as the title. Okay, so I'm going to jump onto an instrument and kind of just play around and sing out some of these ideas. Okay, for me, I find it much better if you get any kind of idea to get musical about it as soon as possible. So here's what I came up with. The title changed from Jump to Ready to Jump. I just sang better. And I got some ideas for the plot. Going from Lost to Trapped to Free. So something like going from... I was lost and ready to jump into any relationship to that's obviously a bad idea and I felt trapped I was ready to jump you know off a bridge whatever then that ended I grew strong lessons learned now I'm free and I'm ready to jump into a new life like I said you can end up with a lot of information so I find it better to have limited options rather than unlimited options it just makes things go quicker so go up to insert again and table, just pick one square, make a box, just make it bigger, back up to insert, and then another table. So we're gonna make a grid, let's just pick five, cross five down. Wow! Okay, so in each box, just give it a heading from one of the plot sections, and then put any relevant information from the ideas, the plot outline. Uh, this is uh, the first section that I came up with. So any relevant information goes in there, and then the grid, you just stick your keywords in there, and you can go to Rhyme Zone or B Rhyme, whatever you want, or Rhyme Dictionary, and find some rhymes for that. So this will be useful for giving you more ideas, it'll also be good for the rewriting process to have all that stuff there. So you'll do a box for each of the plot headings. These boxes don't pertain to any specific song section, they're just for the emotional plot of the song. So that's just one way you can organise that information and then you, you can even delete the rest of the stuff if you don't need it anymore. And if you're new to songwriting, check out this video next. And if you're more advanced, why don't you check out this video, it gives a lot of techniques for generating really powerful imagery in your songs. Okay, catch you next time.